Hey guys, welcome to the garage, and today we're doing another product review ish. And that product is going to be the Ultimate Nippers from God Hand. If you've never heard of God Hand, don't feel too bad. I haven't either. I had either until I came across these nippers a few years ago, a year and a half ago, sometime a year ago, at our one of our local swap meets. The Ultimate Nippers from, from God Hand. God Hand makes other hobby related items, tools, and what have you. One thing I do want to mention before we go any further is that a couple days ago a somebody posted on one of the Facebook groups that their ultimate nippers were broke the one of the blades broke uh, broke off or just came it just broke because somebody he claims somebody in his house was using them to cut something other than what they were intended for well if you it clearly states here on the packaging for plastic only so keep that in mind if you get these just use them on plastic do not try to use them on other things like even like photo etch or anything other than just plastic which kind of makes me a little weary are they not that durable are the blades gonna can the blades easily break so a little concerning there so we'll see how it goes I can I go through nippers pretty quickly I've gone through um, uh, pair I've the springs don't last very long and so I can be known to be hard on my nippers. So with that out of the way, let's take it out of the packaging and see how they work. First, I'll open the little, pan, the little booklet here. So you can see the do's and don'ts, the proper use for your ultimate nippers. I hope you read, ja read Japanese. If you do, let me know what it says. All right. I'll get them out of the packaging. One, they feel really nice. They have a nice, uh, they feel good in the hands. They have a nice weight to them. They don't feel, doesn't feel cheap. Uh, the action is smooth. Oh yeah, that's nice. Nice, you also get a uh, blade pouch, blade protector pouch to put the, uh, not in use to keep the, uh, yeah, that's nice. All right. Sign and compare these two. My Mr. Mr. Uh, my Mr. Tools here from Mr. Hobby. These have been my nippers that I've been using for a while now. Nice pair. They seem to have. They can stand up to Peden's abuse. Just kind of compare them. See, they're a little bit smaller and and I mean I guess it's relative. They're relative. They're not necessarily smaller, smaller, but they are smaller in ways. But they kind of compare them to. This pair definitely feels much heavier. This pair feels a little bit lighter. All right, so now let's do some testing, some cut, test cutting. So with the normal pair of nippers that you have right here, one thing I don't like about it when you do it is when you cut things, this sort of focuses, oh, where's the focus wheel? There we go. All right, so there you can see, it was not very smooth, kind of uh, just not smooth at all. Now we're going to use the ultimate nippers you cut with them. Idea. Oh, that was nice and smooth. And there you can see the difference on um, when they cut. And these are the nice flat surface there. Oh god, that was like cutting butter. I gotta do that again. That was so nice. Hold on. Oh gosh, that's like wow, that is so nice. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy cutting some parts off of off of uh parts trees now. Ooh, that is nice. There you can see the difference. We'll do this one and nice. So there, you know, back to it. Kind of, you know, not even. Ooh, that is nice. So, I think that's going to wrap it up for the ultimate nipper from Mr. Godhand. Ooh, that is nice. I'm going to be looking, I'm going to enjoy cutting parts loose now. Ooh, that is really, really nice. Ooh, yes. That is nice. Alright, so with that, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.